These paintings are like windows, uh, doors, entrances, passageways, and the square within the square, uh, doors, passage entrances, into the unknown. passageways, into the unknown. Passageways to feelings and spaces that I'm exploring. It's about capturing something of the mystery of the processes of life. I'm working with live energy here, sort of like electricity. Um, it's part of a process, something that's there in that very moment. The living and the dying and the growing. The living and the dying. Drawing, I think, is actually one of the most interesting aspects of the whole thing. Without the drawing, there's no painting at all. The drawing has to work first. The painting, for me, is a little like a body. The drawing in the painting is the bones of the body. And then I create an underpainting which takes that structure of the bones and elaborates on it and basically you're adding muscle and sinew. And then the final layer is the color of the painting which is the surface that you see and that's the skin. It goes on top of everything else but will only really work because you have and that's skin structure underneath and muscle underneath it to support it. The aliveness of the blossoms is really important because there's an energy which comes from them, like electricity. You know, every every animal, every plant has its own alive energy. Just the smell, the color. Just the smell, the color. To capture the energy of something living, you have to have that living thing there. The aliveness of the blossom to work with. A lot of the paint, a lot of painting is about texture, the different texture between the rock, the leaf, the thorn, the flower. And you've got four different, very different substances. And how do you, how do you capture what they feel like as well as what they look like? You know, I've learned to trust my own intuition about the painting process. I'm, it's like split-second decisions that I'm making with my hand. I'm not second-guessing too much with my head. I've learned just to trust that part of myself. And that's why when people talk about eye-hand coordination and eye-hand heart coordination, that sort of thing, I, I just think it's something that you slowly get to know about while you actually work. And with watercolor, it's, it's such an important thing because watercolor is a very dynamic medium, more so than, say, oil painting, which you could start and go back to it and it's still nice and wet and sticky. And you know that's why people get very frustrated with watercolor, because it's a very dynamic medium. You have to be able to be there at that moment. You have to be really on because that's what it takes to really... You have to be able to be there. there. And that's what I like about it. There's always this strange feeling after signing a painting that you feel like it's, it's finished. That signature is, is, is the last stroke in the painting. And now it's going out into the world, carrying all of that magic energy that you've infused into it, and you don't know where it's going to go. You start off with a concept, and the concept has, you know, is it, always this sort of burnished, perfect idea, and the actual <clears throat> manifestation of it is always a little different, because life gets in the way, you know, things turn out differently. I wanted a black ball in the middle, that was the initial idea. Now I have a red one. You know, the flowers start to open and grow and change as the painting happens. 
you know, sort of finished painting always ends up being different from the concept that you started. But that's part of the magic of the process. You're, you're becoming part of the process yourself. And even though you think you have control over it, you really don't. It's really just an illusion. And I think part of the magic of being an artist is being able to flow in that river, that river of that illusion that you are in control and be part of it and be the vessel. Um, to be the vehicle to allow that magic to be manifested in whatever way it's going to be manifested. So that's what I like about it.